Hey guys, what is up? I am Double Driven. We're here. The last two Great Sun cards. <laughs> Fortunately, they both look pretty cool, so I'm I'm kind of happy with them. The characters I'm not real thrilled about, but um, the cards themselves, they seem like they're uh, both really good. Um, let's check them out. Uh, the one I got to look at a little bit, the other one I, I, I can already tell it's going to be a fiasco in the comments because I'm going to have no clue what it means. But uh, the first one, um, Rosa and Edna Barater. Did I do it right? Um, seven strength, nine provisions. Deploy. Create a bronze unit from your opponent's faction. Then spawn it on the opposite row and give it spying. Order. Damage an enemy unit by zero. Increase by one for each aristocrat in your starting deck. Death blow. Spawn and play a base copy of the destroyed unit. Okay, so she's like a coup with a body. And you can actually, because it's got spying, you could play coup. Get one copy of it and then coup, or kill it with the other thing and get another one. So you get two copies, if it's something really good. Do you play this with ball? I don't think you do. I think, I think you play this with like the Brathens and stuff like that. I, I think you're you're better off going that route. It. Uh, I think I think this card's really good for nine provisions. It gives you damage on, uh, you know, a spying unit. So as long as you kill an enemy unit, it doesn't say it has to be. It could be any unit, right? It doesn't have to be the one you spawn. It's just a bonus. Yeah, it just has order. I think it's pretty good, man. I think this one's pretty good. I like it a lot. I like the the flavor to it. Because it's like... They're almost like pretending to be on the other side of the board. And there's two people on the cards. I think it's pretty cool. I like it. Uh, let's check out this other one. The text on it looks like something out of a... Ikea furniture. <laughs> uh, Henry... Varater, 8 strength, 11 provisions. So what does this guy do? It says, human aristocrat, deploy. If your opponent has not passed and their hand is not full, create a legendary unit from your faction that was not in your starting deck. Add it to your opponent's hand. Move the rest to the bottom of your opponent's deck. Then create a legendary unit from your opponent's faction that was not in their starting deck. Add it to your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your deck. What? <laughs> so you're, you're... Deploy, if you put an opponent... If your opponent is not passed and their hand is not full, create a legendary unit from your faction that was not in your starting deck. And add it to your opponent's hand. Move the rest to the bottom of your opponent's deck. Then create a legendary unit from your opponent's faction that was not in their starting deck and add it to your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of the deck. Okay, so that when so the, the options that you get to pick. So you put two more cards in your deck, correct? Because you're going with create. So you pick you pick a legendary card to put in your hand and you put two in the bottom of your deck. Then you could put them on the top with Calvate, possibly. I don't know if you're going to run that in that deck, but it's an option, I guess. Um, doesn't this have synergy with... Um, what's his name? The... Oh, 
where's he at? Sandor and, uh, it has synergy with abduction too, right? It's a lot of, uh, what ifs, right? You're hoping to get good cards, good legendary cards. It makes the round go longer because you're adding a card to the round. It's definitely for assimilate, right? I mean, you're you're getting extra cards that you create, right? You can add even more cards with Torres to your deck and get rid of a, some other ones. <laughs> if you don't like the legendaries you got. Um I mean, at least he's eight strength. Uh, it, I think it just depends on what you create, but you might get something crazy that's the big answer. Or I guess, too, you can run um, the mage to uh, give you five choices, right? It seems all right. I, I, give, it a, I give it an eight out of ten. I'll, I'm going to play it. I mean, give it a, give it a go, but... Um, yeah, two pretty cool Nilfgaard cards to end out the thing. I was hoping maybe for like uh, soldiers. Soldiers got it hooked up pretty good. I was hoping for a little bit better on the assimilate, but these are these are both pretty good. You got assimilate. You got spying. Deck manipulation. You know you can actually do some sneaky stuff with wear it stealing some cards. I guess with. Cantarella <laughs> with the cards you created. Um, yeah, I, I like it. I think it's I think it's it's something interesting. It'll be uh, it, it's probably gonna put a ton of points on the board with the you know all the assimilate engines. I would imagine you're gonna have on the board, or it's gonna be a lot of poison with with ball. I think ball's not the way to go with this deck though, but whatever. Um, let's check out these two no or, uh, Northern Realms cards. I feel bad for Northern Realms, but almost, almost. Um, they had, uh, I didn't get the, I, I wasn't feeling good at all yesterday. Um, they got Ada. I love this art. It's always been one of my favorites. She's sitting here eating some ribs. Um, five strength, 12 provisions, human aristocrat cursed, getting some cursed, Revenants or revving their engines waiting for this card to come out deployed devotion Which it seems like devotion is going to get a little bit of a buff uh, Gain immunity immunity is always a good thing the first time a cursed unit enters the battlefield each turn Boosts self by its base power So she's like a better Milva, right? That's uh, it, it seems like it's a really good card. I mean, you play it out; it's uninteractive. They can't deal with it unless they got like the, a trap down or something like that, you know, or a random scorch or something. Um, so that makes it kind of difficult, and it just grows. It's an engine that you can't really do anything about. I think this one's pretty good. It's slow, but. Those cursed decks are slow anyways. And there's probably... They said there's going to be a lot of... Things that are going to be changed... In this coming patch. Like a lot of changes, so... Curse might be... Broken. We don't know yet. Um, and then the last one... The one that nobody wanted, apparently. Um, another Radovid card. Radovid Judgment. Um, six strength. Ten provisions... Devotion. Once all leader charges are used up, summon cell from your deck to your melee row. So he's another roach, ratty roach. <laughs> um, I mean, 
The only problem with these cards when they don't really do a whole lot is they're bricks, man. You draw this in hand, you just got to be on eggshells with... Thing. I mean, granted, you know, if you play this with the hand manipulation cards, it's not a big deal. You can put it back in the deck, but... Um, which, that's what you're gonna play this in. I don't see why you would play it in any other, any other deck, but... Does that deck really want this in there? I guess it pops out before you play, like, your roach or whatever. You play all your leader charges, it comes out, roach comes out, you play the last two cards and start pinging with your your guys your priests or whatever I don't know this one's this one is really underwhelming like I think out of all of them so far Nilfgaard got the the most interesting cards Nilfgaard and monsters so far the syndicate cards are just busted like they're just so good like they're gonna it, they're gonna they're gonna break the game uh, when when it comes to the, like final tournament. Syndicate's gonna be banned in every one. I can almost guarantee it. I just see it coming. But uh, that's the video for today, guys. Just a short uh, Nelf card video uh, with a uh, little bit of uh, Northern Realms coverage there. <laughs> you guys have been wonderful. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys tomorrow with uh, Skellige. Thank <laughs> you.